All right, everyone, just want to share some easy tips on your own vanity lighting. The tools that you are going to need, vanity light fixtures. I have two of them. Most people usually use three, um, one on each side and one at the top, but two is fine for me. It comes with wire covers uh, as a part of the kit, so if they don't, you can get them separately. I have two lamp cords for each fixture, a dimmer cord, dimmer light bulbs. You need to make sure that they are light bulbs that you can use for dimmer switches. They should not be regular light bulbs. And then I have electrical tape and a drill. And I will mention where I got all of these products down in the description box. So the first thing you want to do is remove the face plate from the base of the fixture. The socket covers come right off and the face plate lifts right up. And on the inside, you will notice that there are two wires. One is white and one is black. Now you want to connect the wires for the fixture to the lamp cord. Now you should uh, do this. You have to repeat this step twice or three times depending on how many light fixtures that you have. But it's simple. You take one of the cords and twist it to one of the uh, split um, cords of the lamp cord. I hope that made sense. But you can pretty much see what I'm doing right here. It's very simple and it doesn't matter which one is attached to which. Just connect each one to each side of the lamp cord. Again, these should be in uh, the kit with your fixtures, but if not, you can get them separately. But you want to screw on the wire covers. Uh, you want to make sure you screw them on pretty nice and tight for each one because we do not want these wires to touch. So now you just want to check and see if it works. So you want to make sure you plug it up. If it works, perfect. But make sure you disconnect it or unplug it when you're ready to attach it to the wall. <laughs> so the last step is just pretty much attaching it to the wall. Um, there are several things that you have to do just to get it up there. It all depends on uh, where you want it placed, the measurements and all that, but it's, it's fairly simple. There's two holes for the screws, one at the top, one at the bottom for you to attach this to the wall. Now you want to make sure that the wires are nice and snugged inside of the fixture. So if you need to use the um, electrical tape to place all of the wires up against the base plate of the fixture that probably would be a very good idea so that nothing gets cut off clamped off or stuck in between the base plate and the face plate of the fixture all you have left to do is attach the face plate and attach the uh, socket covers and then you can go ahead and put your light bulbs in All right, so this part is a bit important. This is the dimmer switch, and it usually only has one socket for you to plug your cord into. So you want to make sure that you have a um, extra socket piece. I cannot think of what to call this, but you want to have enough to plug all of your uh, cords or all of your fixtures in so that that one dimmer switch can control all of the lights. And that's pretty simple, guys. Make sure you check out all the information in the description box. Also, make sure you check out my um, last or my old closet uh, tour. And I'll put that down in the description box as well because the next video that you are going to see after this 
is my updated closet tour so it's been long awaited so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful and i will see you in the next one